Thursday, January 21st, 2018, and we are at a vacant lot on Colt Lane here in Winter Garden 34787. I am top Central Florida realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country Realty. If you're looking for an agent who knows this area, is committed to it, as obviously I am by taking and posting this video, call me and let me help you too. We're going to go check out the lot, and we're going to go down the neighborhood too. The purpose of this video is to give you a feel for the area that pictures can't give you. Look at all the good pictures posted on Zillow, Realtor.com, TruliaHomes.com. Those are the best pictures. How do I know? Because I'm probably the one who took and posted those. So we've got a nice 5.05 acre lot subdivision at the end of a cul-de-sac kind of worth noticing right there we've got a turkey there's a male turkey there there's plumage female turkeys chickens geese oh there's some goats in the background there obviously you can't get beautiful houses an unbelievable vista five acres just over the Orange County line like this just everywhere the most important part Notice how we're going up that little, see that little, up the little rise there. That's where your house will be. That's where their house is. Go straight across. That's where your house will be. Your house will be on a small hill on five acres with sunset views going down over there, overlooking the entire subdivision, the highest point on a cul-de-sac, no through traffic. And you know what's behind all that? You can see straight through. We'll go out and look. An orange grove. So we've got an unbelievable location. Lots of different styles of houses here. They're all, let's just say, not cheap. All super nice. A lot of them have got it all cleared here. If you want your own farm animals. This one goes probably... 60% to the tree line and then another 40% over the tree line there into the trees So you're actually going to own your own little pine forest as well Taxes are really low here because we are in Lake County just over the Orange County line Just the vacant lot taxes on five acres only $2,500 a year Right now that's why people are out here get a great house for a good price there's an HOA it's about $500 a year all right so we want to look at how the lots are laid out I know you look on the plat map you see that house built so we've got a house right there that light right there and there and you see the wedge that goes out that way and it goes quite a full ways back past those tree line so that's what we've got on this side here you can see that little little bag right there little post says nine I'm imagining that your lot will be between that and this nice little access road and then that would be somebody else's lot right there so you're gonna go in that way up on a hill and you're gonna have your back to pine forest and an orange grove to make it super easy here We've got this road already installed. It goes all the way around the corner. So if you're looking on the plot, you come straight down the cul-de-sac there. Runs right into this road here. So it's going to hook around to the right around the property line. Five acres is not a small parcel. That looks big, but that's not five acres. Remember, that's just the five acre part that is visible. It goes past that. I know there's just lots of wildlife out here. I'm into birds. So right there, it's a palm warbler there. Low to the ground, tail bobbing, yellow rump in the winter, not as noticeable, but you can see it. It's a lot of birds. There's giant ravens I just saw, which are unusual for this part of Florida. I heard a whistling duck fly over. I usually like water. I'm not sure if there's some water near here. And while I'm walking, 
want you to take a listen to this. Hear that? Except for someone banging something in the distance. I didn't hear it either. It's because there's no sound out here. Other than the birds. So you're super close to like all of the things you want. You can build literally a castle out here. So this is some kind of citrus trees. I'm guessing oranges. It's winter. They've all been picked. But can you imagine your house right in there? Springtime, a whole month, the citrus blossoms are blooming, and your whole house and yard are going to smell like spring. The orange blossom being the Florida State flower, one of the icons of being here in Florida. And if you're from out of state, it's worth mentioning, I do have my jacket on one of the four or five times that I wear it this year, but it's about 55 degrees. And in Chicago right now, it's negative one degree. We've got an Arctic blast coming in. People are dying. Cold. School's canceled. Flight's canceled. And here we are, about sunset in Florida. It's a little inconvenient because I have to wear a jacket. That's why people come here. <clears throat> so not only do you get privacy, which is what you want, you're going to get great smells. And depending on if you clear this or not, there's... So large trees, trees here, definitely worth keeping. This is some nice oak trees. You're actually, let's say that's your pool, your lanai area right there. And you're actually gonna have a view of orange blossoms and oranges on the tree right from your backyard, right from your pool. And we're going up a hill. I think you can see it here. Why are we going up? Because that's the house on the hill theme that we're looking at. And I'll show you what I mean now. Your five acres go into this as well. But we're losing the light a little. It's getting dark. So we're going to go to the panoramic view. I'm not sure why there's a road here, but we can work with it. Then you buy and build a house, there won't be a road here anymore. Can you see, like, to get a feel for that view. And the sun's going to come up over there behind the trees and the sun's going to set. That is beautiful. So we're pretty close to where you build your house, depending on where you'd want to do it. So imagine here, maybe this part's all cleared, got a nice tree buffer back there, some old oak trees, got your own pine forest in your backyard, hear the wind whistle through it, night, look out sitting at your pool, see the orange blossoms and the oranges growing, and when you come home, look out your driveway or out your front window you're going to see that every day sunset view and can you see that way dip down there talk about the very definition of high and dry everything in the whole subdivision is below me all the way out to the main street so go for turtle turtle tortoise hole right there Important to note, looks like it's an old established one. Part of being in Florida, especially way up here, even the gopher tortoise is smart enough to know this is the place to be. Rain, weather. All right, we're going to walk down to the end of this little road here. We're going to go get a shot of the trees before we start looking at the neighborhood itself. Okay, we were just over there. We'd walk down there. You can see the slope again. It's got that beautiful view. My goodness. And then right here, this is still your property.
clear it, don't clear it. Looks like it was originally done for timber. See those trees in a line right there? And it's hard to tell exactly how far back we go. Quite a ways. Practically speaking, if your house is over there, just how far are you going to clear into this? You have it, you own it. It's an amazing buffer. Keep the wildlife here. All right, we get a few more shots here and next. I'm gonna go down the street, take a couple of things of the neighborhood so you can see what your neighbor's houses will look like here on video. The more I'm hanging out here, the more I wanna live here too. Okay, here we are at the subdivision's main entrance, West Phil C. Peters and Colt Lane in Avalon Hills. Over that little bump, the rest of the street. There are lots down in the end. Look at that beautiful sky. This is your entrance. Let's go check out a couple of the houses being built and already built. All right, obviously someone is building a castle here. Still under construction. That's what you'll be doing when you buy this lot. This is the first house on the right. You can see quite a bit of cleared space around it. Their property probably goes back into those trees as well. And that's the entrance we just were at. Look at the light on that house in the distance as the sun comes down and shines on it. All right, we're just a couple of feet higher. We were just there. Look at that house. Oh my goodness. And even millionaires have trash day. Hear the rooster in the background. We're on one of the little rises here. Tips down, goes back up. Beer lots right there. Sun going down. Build a house like that, only better. Got a better lot for it, for sure. Going into the sun here, look at that. The only things these houses could use is a pine forest behind them and an orange grove to one side, being up higher on a hill. Another couple of hundred feet down, we were just there. In any other neighborhood, that would be a mansion. A normal house. Look at this. Talk about taking advantage of your five acres. Fully fenced. That is a good looking house. Those are your neighbors, and you can even do one better. I am Top Orlando Realtor, Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. If I can help you with a lot here in Avalon Lakes, anything out here in Winter Garden, or anything to do with Central Florida Real Estate, call me, 407-339-3200.